This is Vincent Perez, and we are so lucky to have him here in Munich. Hello. And we are so happy that you brought the world premiere of your new film mm -hmm. to Munich. Yep. Um, how excited are you? Uh, I am. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I. I it's very strange because it's such a long process. I've been so many fights and uh, and to, to put the, you know to be able to uh, to uh, um, attain you know your goals when you're making a film, especially like a film like this one. Um, and you know we start with the COVID and then blah blah blah, blah all the fights. But now we're here and uh, and it's I have to uh, I guess I have to enjoy it also in a certain way. But I'm very nervous also to see how. Uh, because this is like the first time that like an audience that doesn't know anything about the, the film will will see it. So it's the first it's the first screening of the film. I've watched the film, so I can tell you it's wonderful. Oh so you God. don't have to be nervous. <laughs> okay. um, let's talk about uh, Une Affaire d'Honneur. Um, you take us to Paris yeah. a long time ago, uh, and you take us into a world that is very very different to our world now. But you've managed to write characters we can relate to, I think. Right. So tell us about the people. Who do we meet in this film and what are their struggles and what are they dealing with? Yeah, the, uh, the story is based on true stories. I mean, um, I, you know, I did, uh, I did research on, on characters, on, on, well, on, on a certain sp a special subject, which is the, the du dueling. People mm -hmm. were, 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 you know, like they were counted like one duel every day at the end of the 19th century, you know, like uh, in Paris, around Paris. And uh, one dead every 35 duels. And it was men, Mo most of the people were men. I mean, w w men were dueling and uh, most of the people were coming from <clears throat> the military and half the people dueling were the military and the other half was the press world mm -hmm. and, and the literature world, uh, which was, I think, fascinating because I didn't know that. It was a time where in 1881, there is like the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the release of, of, of like a censorship in, uh, in, 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 in Paris. So people were allowed to uh, uh, do research and write an article and release it without going through, uh, you know, the authorities. Uh, so that's why the duel came up like this, you know, went up and, uh, and it was like a crazy moment uh, at the time, even though it was forbidden. So we have like, uh, we have a, a, a sword master, uh, which is the main character. And, uh, and we have a, a woman who, uh, who's like uh, a, a based also on the true woman that really existed. It was fascinating to, fi to fi find out about her. Marie-Rose Marie -Rose astier de Valzer, uh, Maître Lacaz, Marie-Rose astier de Valzer, who's the, uh, a woman who really fought. I mean, she, she, uh, she cr created the first league, feminine league uh, of uh, fencing. And, uh, and she was an incredible character. And then you have like, all the other characters in the film, which are the bad guy, you know, uh, uh, the antagonist, uh, which I'm playing, which is the military guy. And, um, and they all have in common that... Uh, something that they never really uh, managed to uh, digest, which is the loss of the war in 1870. So they all have that in common. And then you have uh, uh, someone who's at the head of a newspaper, because the newspapers were very much, very much involved in uh, uh, the duels. And, um, and the owner of uh, the, the club, I guess, the uh, fencing club that was uh, at the time, you know, uh, they were like everywhere in Paris, like all over France, all over Europe, in fact, you know, it was really like in Germany also, you know, it was very intense and people were, were, were they, they were like, uh, it was the beginning of the um, uh, train, uh, uh, gymnastic room, you know, that's where the first uh, weights started to appear in those uh, fencing uh, places. Um, you have an ensemble that is breathtaking. You actually, I think you, you just asked basically the best actors they are. And um, you have uh, Roche Tissem there, uh, who is a wonderful actor. And I was wondering, as, as an actor yourself, as, as a fantastic actor yourself, does it still, is it something magical still when you see somebody like Roche Tissem acting and you're the director and you're just watching him? Or are you just, oh, it's acting? <laughs> 
No, no, because we all, uh, it's, it's still, I mean, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're aiming for. If it's for the magic, you know, that's why we're making these f- films or those films and why that's why we're making this business. That's why we are involved in, in the business because we're all dreamers, I guess, and we all are seeking for uh, magical moments and true moments, you know, and uh, when you have an actor like Roche Dizem, it's wonderful because he's... Uh, First, uh, he's so extremely charismatic. He has that thing on screen, which is really very impressive. And I, I don't think there, there's very few actors in, in France who have that, I think. I mean, there is, but, uh, but he has like really some, some kind of presence on the screen, which, which is really what I was uh, looking for. I needed that. And that, he was the only one for me that could have done the, the part. And, uh, and it was wonderful to work with him. He was, he was always there, extremely patient. You know, he's doing really well in his career at the moment, you know, like he's like really on the peak of his career. And he's, uh, he's, he was great. No, I, I, you know, and then when you work together, that's what wonderful, uh, when, you, when you're an actor and, and, and you, when you're directing, uh, you know how it works, you know, so you know that every actor is different, that every actor has to be uh, spoken a different way, you know, you have to uh, exchange in a different way. Some you have to push, some you have to hold back, and, and some others you just have to find ways to, uh, uh, to make it happen, you know. What have you learned about films when you started being a director? And what, uh, what experience have you made that you wish you'd known as a young actor? Maybe some kind of uh, involvement, you know, uh, maybe uh, when I was young and I started at the beginning, I was very much involved. And, but then there was a moment where maybe I was still maybe too uh, easy on things. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, you know, I know what I, what I, what, what I was uh, uh, maybe lacking, uh, 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 the idea of confrontation, mm-hmm. the idea of not being, of not agreeing. Uh, and the, the, the idea of pushing further the thoughts of the director, mm-hmm. challenging the director, you know, asking for more, pushing for the writing, mm-hmm. those things. This is our 40th birthday of the Film Fest, so um, this is my last question because I don't want to keep you from your world premiere. I think it's important that you have to go there. Oh. But one question, because I mean, you are an experienced festival director yourself. So what do right. you wish for our festival? It's the 40th birthday, what? Well, I think uh, festivals are very important and I wish you a lot of success. And I wish, you know, the thing is that festivals are great because they, uh, they um, um, send a message. I mean, they, uh, they're there for the people to enjoy films, you know, and, and to bring uh, new generations into cinemas and that's uh, that's so what, what what we all so i wish uh, to the festivals the munich festival to bring as much as possible uh, the new generations of uh, directors of audience and uh, writers whatever just people would just want to have a good time you know so thank you so much um, I hope you have the most wonderful evening here in Munich Thank and you. thanks for taking Thank you. your beautiful film to our festival. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Merci. Thank you. Merci.